Here is something else to note about how this PID is connected. When I turn on the Gaja, the PID turns on and immediately the element is trying to heat um, with that progressive pattern on the left side, uh, the, the left indicator light on the PID for the element for brewing. Now, if I switch it to steam, you can see that that element is still clicking uh, on and off on the left side of the PID, but it doesn't matter because right now these switches have bypassed the circuitry that reads the temperature or reads the, the circuitry from the brewing temperature. Right now, it is only relying on the alarm and the alarm on the PID for this PID is set 140 to 145, I believe. So when this temperature gets up above 140 or 145, it'll turn off. And then at that point, you'll see the element um, indicator light or the alarm indicator light turn off on the right hand side. So it's about to hit 145 right now. So there, the, now the indicator light is off. And when it cools down to 140, it will turn it on again. And, and, and it's using the same circuitry as inside the internal uh, Gaggio wiring. So the steam element says, hey, I'm ready. Uh, the indicator light under the switch. And now as soon as we get down to 140, it'll turn on again and it's heating again. So I have set my alarm settings from 140 to 145. So it heats in that range. Um, and that's how that works. Um, and if I turn this back off, immediately the brew temperature says, hey, I'm ready. It's hard to see that the, it's hard to see that the brew temperature light is on um, more than the on indicator. Um, uh, that's difficult, difficult to read. They all, they all three look like they're lit, but they're not. But, and maybe that's because the temperature is so high right now. But the temperature will drop down and you can see neither the uh, element indicator on the left is lit, neither is the um, alarm indicator. The alarm indicator did just come on uh, when it went down past 140, but it's not heating anything because um, right now the circuitry is going through the brew circuit, not the steam circuit. And the brew temperature indicator says, hey, I don't need to turn on my element because the temperature is way be way beyond 92 or anything above 92, which is where the brew temperature is set. So that's how the PID is working and that's how it's controlling the second uh, temperature, the second um, setting of steam temperature. And that steam circuitry is only active when the steam switch is manually pushed, pushed down. And when you push it back up, it goes back to controlling the temperature for the PID setting, uh, which is what the, uh, the PID is designed to normally do. That is how mine is working.